Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. Um, I was kind of playing around with my Redivis RT97 repeater. I was going to hook it up and play with it. And, uh, well, I hooked it up and the it would power up. It would then, the display would uh, fade out. And then it would kind of power back up. And then the display would fade out. The blue light on the power supply, which is right here, would also fade out along with the display. So I thought, well, maybe there's something wrong with the repeater. Well, good news is, Redivest does send along with the repeater a 12 volt DC cigarette lighter adapter. So I plugged that into the repeater. I plugged into another power supply that I have that lets me um, run a 12 volt it converts AC to 12 volt. I did a video on that power supply a few months back. And the repeater worked. So then I unplugged the power supply and I took it apart. And to take this power supply apart, you gotta pry it open on the lines here. You gotta pry it open. It's kind of glued together. It wasn't too bad to take it apart. This power supply is a 12 volt, five amp, power supply so it puts out obviously 12 volts DC so I've been trying to figure out what's going on here the problem is I don't have a schematic for this some of the part parts that are on here I cannot read the part number so that makes it difficult and to make it more difficult some of the parts underneath that are service mount are also not marked. There's a little IC here. Um, no idea what it is. If there's any markings, I sure I sure can't read it. Even with the magnifying glass, I still can't read that. So that's going to be kind of a problem here. I did check these capacitors. A lot of times, the filter capacitors can go bad. These big capa these capacitors right here in the end. These are a thousand microfarad, uh, 25 volt, I believe. And they seem to be okay, so I know it ain't the capacitors. Right now, it's not pulsing. I think it finally died. I have it plugged in. I do get, there's a bridge rectifier over here on this, on the primary side. This is a switch mode power supply. I do get uh, 20 volts DC on this bridge rectifier. On this big filter cap, I do get uh, 19, 19 or 20 volts DC. So I know the primary side is somewhat working from what I can tell. I don't know what the voltage is supposed to be because I don't have a schematic. All I know is it's supposed to be 12 volts coming out of this plug. I even took the plug apart thinking oh, maybe a wire, which you can't see here, but I was thinking maybe a, a wire was going to short against the metal casing of the plug. And that obviously not the case. They have it heat shrunk, so that can't happen. So I even took that apart. And that obviously is not the case. So this is where we're at. Um, like I said, the repeater works just fine. It's just the power supply died. I'm going to see if I can get some information on this. I'm going to see if I can try to fix this. Uh, there is, I don't know if it's a regulator. I don't know what it is. I can't read the part number on the side here. There is a uh, mounted on the heat sink. Could either be a transistor, it could be a voltage regulator, but I can't read the number on the part. Um, I just it's just it's too faded. Same with the one on here, there's none over here too. I can't read it. So I'm gonna see if I can get a schematic for it. Like I said, good news is I do have a plan B. I can run it with this power cord with another power supply um, that I bought, like I said. And I kind of needed that other power supply anyways because I use that power supply to run the amplifier. If you've been watching my videos, it's the uh, little metal power supply. I think it was like 20 bucks. Does 30 amp. Works really well. So let's uh, let's hope I can get some information on this. And uh, at any rate, uh, I'd like to post a quick video on this. Uh, like I said, it was pulsing. This LED light was pulsing. It would turn on, go up to, I don't have the meter hooked up now, but the meter was right here. It would go up to about three to four volts, and then she'd, the, the LED would fade out. So, 
Now it's not even doing that. Oh, there it goes. Oh, now it came on. Now it came on. Let's see if I get... Pins 1 and 2 on this plug are going to be the output for the uh, voltage on this. Let's see if I can get this in here. I'm getting about 2 volts. Oh, there it, went, it went off now. Now the light went off. This LED light. But pins 1 and 2 um, on this plug are the output. And if you're wondering how do I know what 1 and 2 is, if you look at, the, you probably can't see this in the video, but there are, there are marked. This is like, a, I don't know if you remember back in the CB days, this is a, a four pin connector they would use on microphones back in the CB days. But they are marked on there. Like I say, you won't be able to see it in the video, but they're, they're, they're marked. If you look at them with a good light, they're marked. But one and, one and two are the outputs, and I'm getting about one volt, but she is not she is not coming up. Like I said, I do have voltage on the primary side, so it's either going to be these caps, I believe, are okay. Usually the filter caps kind of go bad, but they seem to be okay. So either I have a bad a bad IC here or a regulator or a transistor, whatever this part is, maybe that's bad. I got to do some more checks. But without part numbers, it's kind of hard to really know what part's supposed to be there. So at any rate, if I do come up with a, a fix, I will definitely either make another video or I will post it in the comments or in the description. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And again, this is the power supply for the Redivitz RT97 GMRS repeater. That's what this power supply goes to. So, at any rate, uh, thank you and have a good day.